guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. beautiful people welcome to this um, full moon in Pisces uh, reading it's also a twin flame reading uh, from today until uh, September the 4th so I'm using the romance angels Oracle cards um, I will be doing an extended reading after this which I will be posting in patreon um, or if you'd like to purchase the reading then uh, you can follow the link below. Okay, so I'll pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so I hope you're all doing well. So the full moon in Pisces. Pisces is a very emotional, nurturing, loving, um, loyal, energy. Um, they're very romantic. They give a, a lot of themselves. Um, also, you know, the full moon is also about cycles coming to completion, so it's closures um, so that you can start anew. So earlier on, I pulled two cards uh, for my Instagram followers, and they were the Eight of Cups and the Death card. So that represents um, leaving the past behind you know you put a lot of work and effort into something and it's just you're not seeing the rewards for it so you're moving on um, then the death card is you know major transformation um, endings completions cutting away things that no longer serve you so that was a little you know preview of what this reading is about so let's go further into it Okay, so the bottom of the deck, let's do this first. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so the moon is all about, you know, paying attention to signs, synchronicities, the, you know, paying attention to your dreams, uh, diving deeper into your thought process, into your emotions, um, you know, facing your fear. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with this the red flags so your intuition is telling you something uh, and so this card is telling you to pay attention to that there's something in your life that isn't working um, you know and you know it, it might be a person who just latches lashes out at other people or you know you feel that maybe they're using you so this is an opportunity for you to really take a close look at the people in your life now this is a twin flame reading so um, this could mean that either aspect is, is watching the other twin flame. Uh, now they could be making judgments on that person or, um, you know, maybe they're self imploding. Maybe they're, you know, they are seeing things that aren't there. So yeah, it's just all about you know, really paying attention, listen to your intuition. Okay, so for the feminine past position, we have express your love, go ahead, make those romantic gestures. So the feminine, um, you know, what I'm seeing here is the feminine giving of herself. And the masculine energy here is, you know, not so much in that same vibration. They're not... Um, doing the same thing you know there may not be some reciprocation here but I, I see so much love that the feminine has been putting out um, and yeah uh, hoping for a return so let's see what the masculine is in chemistry there's a strong mag magnetic attraction here okay so the masculine I was wrong the masculine is feeling that vibration they're picking up on chemistry they're um, they're feeling magnetically drawn to the feminine and 
you know, also maybe making those gestures, those, those expressions of love. So there's uh, a definite activation here of chemistry, attraction, um, you know, unable to, to forget this person. They've left a mark on your soul, so you're constantly being drawn back to them. Okay, so in the feminine's present position is love yourself first. Yes. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Awesome. So again, there's this, this feeling of the feminine, you know, really giving of herself. In the masculine, you know, we, we see one foot out the door. He's on his way somewhere else. So, but the important thing here is you know, the feminine is in a very self-love space. Um, she realized that she gave a lot of herself in the past and she may be kind of pulling back and giving herself that love and respect instead. And when you're in that beautiful energy of self-love, then you attract, you magnetically attract love towards you. So for the masculine present position is honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this could literally mean a honeymoon, getting away together, a desire to connect with somebody, um, to express your emotions and your love um, for that person. And, or it could just mean that, you know, you want to withdraw from everyday life, from people in your life, and, you know, connect with yourself. But what I feel here is, you know, this connection, this chemistry, and um, a definite desire to kind of sneak away together and, you know, just be in love. All right, let me see if all the cards are showing up here. All right, so the near future. We have children for the feminine. Your love life is being affected by children. So, you know, this is for those of you who are possibly, you know, in a karmic relationship while, where you feel that you need to be in this relationship because of the children. Um, and it could be the same thing with the masculine. Maybe, um, you know, he's withdrawing from the relationship because he is focused on, on children. So. I'm just going to pull one clarifier here using my deck. What do you mean by children? Just one card, please, Spirit. The Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a very positive card. It's, you know, uh, happily, or it's, um, you know, feeling like your wishes have come true. You feel that you're surrounded by people that love you, um, that support you. You're riding this emotional wave of abundance. Um, so you feel like you're almost there. You know, the Ten of Cups is completion. It's complete harmony, happily ever after. So your love life is being affected by children with the Nine of Cups. Um, maybe you need to make some decisions about how to include the kids in the relationship. Um, or it could just mean that you're really focusing your attention on your children, you know, laughing and playing with them, doing fun things with them, right? So love yourself first, love your, your children, your, your immediate family, um, you know, that children give unconditional love, right? So the near future for the masculine, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So what I'm seeing here is, you know, a feeling of being betrayed, feeling, um, you know, you're holding on to negative emotions from the past. You, you're now releasing those, okay? You are letting bygones be bygones. You are, you know, just like the full moon, you're cleaving away, you're, you're putting an end to things that no longer serve you and healing and forgiving so this is beautiful to see right um we see you know spirit is guiding him is there with him 
um, you know, and, and when you forgive somebody else, you know, you're not actually forgiving them. You are opening up a space within yourself. You are allowing, um, you know, love to come in, love to, to be expressed in your life rather than negativity. And when you're in that kind of energy, then it can only be good, right? So you don't have to like their behavior. Uh, you don't have to like the things that they've done, right? Just forgive and move on. Um, release the past. All right, so let's leave the final outcome for later. So what is in the foundation? Uh, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So here, you know, this is the union energy, right? So this is what both of you are feeling, okay? So as a foundation, the, here you are, the two of you, in unison, calling for one another, um, desiring one another. You know, even though you're not there with that person in the 3D, you're definitely there together in the 5D, the spiritual plane. So this desire to come together um, is what is birthing, you know, this feeling of love and connectedness um, on the masculine side and on the feminine. Although it feels like the feminine's turning more towards herself at the moment, that's fine. She's holding love in her, her, her heart and, you know, it's, she's not turning her back on the masculine. She's loving herself first and then she can turn it. Then she can give love freely to, to anyone. If you expect something in return, then you will be disappointed. All right, so let's move into um, what the feminine is bringing into the union's engagement. Wow, we got a honeymoon and engagement. So your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. Okay, so, you know, this answers the question here that the feminine is um, committed to this connection, you know, very similar feelings of, you know, both aspects are, are leaning into one another. The body language is, um, you know, love, connectedness, um, companionship, um, support, um, a desire to, to be more than you are now. So you both called in each other. We see this commitment, this desire to, to form a commitment being presented in the present moment. So the feminine definitely, um, she's committed. Uh, she, she feels that this connection is ascending to higher levels. Um, but you know, loving yourself is first and foremost with her and that's that's perfect so for the masculine what is he bringing in deception someone is wearing a false uh, self mask in this relationship okay so this goes back to paying attention to the false flag so deception the masculine feel is afraid that he's going to be deceived you know if i give of myself are you going to hurt me, you know, um, because I hurt you. Um, is this for real? Are you playing a role? You know what I mean? They're, they're, so they're questioning this connection. Maybe perhaps they are the one that is holding, wearing that false mask, which is why, you know, that forgiving and learning card is coming in the near future. Forgive yourself. Um, so I'm feeling these things, these aspects being stripped away, um, you know, so that you can see that true being unbene you know, underneath, beneath the mask, you know, the soul, right? So what I see is ego being dismantled. Okay, so crowning energy, what do you guys both want? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so what I'm, I'm feeling here is a desire 
for the two of them to come together and, you know, ask for help and accept that help. Um, make a connection, share a little piece of yourself. Um, but there's almost this feeling of like, I don't know how to do that. You know, the, for the masculine, he's looking at the feminine going, wow, she's just giving me this unconditional love. You know, I desire it too. I want to sneak away. I, I feel this so much love for her, but I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know if what I'm experiencing is real or not. So he, again, is, there's this feeling of looking for, um, yeah, looking for something to be wrong, right? So the desire is there to reach out for both aspects. The door is open. Okay, so for the heart space we have, make an effort, very nice. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. There again is this deep love, this desire to come together, make an effort. Both aspects want to make an effort. Right, and here at the heart space, we have these, you know, the, the child, the child within you, it, within both aspects, right, being represented here. It's pure, innocent, unconditional love. So we got this children, you know, maybe this means that you should return to that innocent, childlike, um, unconditional love in the near future, or, you know, just loving yourself, your child self, if you don't have children. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So follow your intuition, you know, really listen to your inner monologue. When you think of this person, do you, are you immediately triggered? Do you withdraw within yourself? Do you feel like, um, you know, they're just using you, that they're putting on that false mask. Or when you look at them, do you feel genuine love for them? Do you feel that love, you know, moving through your veins, awakening you? Um, you know, it's something that isn't easily ignored. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy yes so let it go let the chains down um, feel passion live passionately um, no holds bar you know there there's this feeling of withdrawing from your expression but I think with this full moon, it's all about um, being passionate, being romantic, you know, just expressing your emotions, um, feeling love, right? And so what I'm seeing here, here is the feminine being taken in, taken up by the masculine energy. Again, you know, we have this winged angel, divine masculine, you know, she called him in and here he is, right? He was always there. And the final outcome for the masculine, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. Okay, so now I'm starting to understand why, you know, where this hesitation is coming from. Um, this card is all about all work and no play. So this is, you know, just concentrating on your finances and not realizing that the important things in your life like family and friends and play are slipping away right so what I'm the message I'm getting from this is the realization that um, maybe you're afraid to go full in because you're going to be taken advantage of financially or maybe you just got too much at stake you know so let me just pull one card from the middle of the deck here wow the lover's card 
So the lover's card is passion, desire, it's carnal, pleasure. It is meeting your twin flame and having that spark, that desire open up within you. Okay, so it's almost like the, the masculine is, is concentrating on work, but really thinking about this connection, thinking about how he feels, how this love, you know, is his drive, is what he truly desires. So a lot of beautiful energies in this week's reading. So I'm just going to pull two cards um, for a final message from the universe. So I'm going to use Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map. Okay, so what final messages do you have? For the collective, for the feminine first, field of dreams, and for the masculine, oh, follow the leader in reverse. Okay. All right, so field of dreams your thoughts feelings and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential this is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener be clear about your thoughts feelings and beliefs concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world which has its own story to tell you have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, where your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to great heart harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown. Dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. So what I'm seeing with this is, you know, those, those seeds of intention being sent out into the universe and having that passion returned back to you. Your dreams are coming true, so dream big. And for the masculine, follow the leader. Wow, and I turned it right to the page. So in reverse, let me just read the little caption here first. Okay, so every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. All right, so in reverse. Reversed, the follow the leader card offers a gentle push to get up and take the lead in a relationship or partnership. Be the one voice that mu must be said. Muster your courage and speak your needs loud. Affirm what you like and what you feel. Wow, isn't that crazy? That's exactly what I was saying about the reading. It's like the, he wants to say something. There's something he, he wants to come out of his shell. Don't just hope for someone else to fix the problem you see. If your inquiry is about a career or a project, you must take the initiative to draw up a proper plan. And if it's about a personal relationship, you must be clear about your intentions and desires. Boldly begin a discussion about how things really are and how to make the situation work for its highest good of all. Do this as soon as possible. You may be pleasantly surprised by the results. That's it. Wow, that's incredible. He feels that chemistry. He feels this intense emotion for the feminine. He sent out a vibration into the universe that he desires her. He, he desires to get away, to be, you know, be together in an intimate way. But there's a false mask here. He's holding back. He's hiding from her. He's hiding his true emotions, a desire to connect. Right, so he must forgive himself, uh, forgive the feminine, um, forgive his parents, his you know anyone that's done him harm. Let go of that baggage, you know, and start working on the twin flame connection, manifesting it, feeling passion. Right, I'm almost seeing here, you know, maybe there needs to be a change in career or finances in order for this connection to happen and so then that's what happens you know he 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 starts working towards that however it's it's very easy to talk yourself out of out of that eh? and so for the feminine again 
sending those those beautiful seeds of intention out into the universe um, also with express your love again also with engagement making the effort a lot of vibration being sent out by the feminine um, and it's saying to, to continually do that tend to those positive vibrations um, spend time with your family your friends uh, everything's gonna work out your dreams and wishes are coming true um, and again you know that passion will come to you when it's ready all right so I do hope this helped um, please follow me on Instagram where I will be doing little mini readings every once in a while um, and also don't forget to like share and subscribe all right cheers